48 hours. Isn't it romantic? From New York, here is Dan Rather. Good evening. America's national pastime is baseball, but there is another pastime that makes just as much money and arouses just as much passion in millions of fans. We're talking now about romance novels. Surprised? Welcome to the club. But the facts are interesting. Fully half of all paperbacks published in this country are romances. Just who are the people behind this phenomenon? Our 48 Hours team, with tongue in cheek and lots of good humor, hit the road to find out. In a moment, the story behind the cover. Then he tasted it, as he had long to do, using his tongue to thrust in mother. One grandmother shares her deepest secrets. The air between them was charged as they stared at one another. His mouth came down on hers, using his tongue to thrust and withdraw. It came together in the frenzy of need and desire that nearly overwhelmed them. Connie Mason is a big fan of romance novels. I can spend hours in a bookstore. She's been reading them all her life. They're the hopes, the dreams of all women. They're romantic, they're fantasy. And so after raising three children and retiring with her husband Jerry to Florida... I was tired of playing bridge every day. Connie began flirting with one of her own fantasies. I felt that I had a creativity inside me someplace. I just didn't know how it was going to come out. And I thought, why not try it? That was 11 years and 29 romance novels ago. I like to write what I would read. Professional writers, journalists, everyone comes up with writer's block. Have you ever had that? No, I don't have writer's block. Does a plumber have plumber's block? <laughs> Connie insists that there's no formula for writing romance novels. That's right. Except for one. All romance novels have to have a happy ending. You know, like a fairy tale. And in the hands of Connie Mason, the fairy tale can get pretty steamy. Wind Rider placed his hands on her slim hips and pushed downward, shoving the tunic free as I slid upward along her body. Then he tasted her, as he had longed to do, using his tongue to thrust in with... Mother! <laughs> You're not supposed to know about this stuff. Connie's daughter, Jerry, couldn't believe her ears at first. She looked at me and said, well, what, you think you kids invented sex? <laughs> it's some pretty hot stuff it's coming out of It's pretty hot stuff, yes. Connie's husband, Jerry, wasn't that surprised. When Connie writes up all these sex scenes, where'd she learn all that from? From me. From you? <laughs> I like to think that. <laughs> My readers write to me and they tell me they love the sex scenes. And giving the readers what they want has paid off for Connie. I make a pretty good living. I can make six figures. Six figures. Mm -hmm. But if you think you've got to have steamy sex scenes to sell romance novels... And while Barbara Cartland and Connie Mason may be an ocean apart on the question of sex and romance... Sex is romance. It has to be. Both women write the same type of romance novel. Historical. I loved history, the Barbary Coast, the pirate thing. And that means doing research. Sometimes I'll check out as many as ten books from a library. But for her next book... Tell your grandma <laughs> goodbye. Ooh, I'll miss you. Connie will be going a lot further than the local library. Bring peanut butter, they may not have it there. Morocco has always fascinated me. This part of the palace was used as a mosque. Jerry, hand me the notebook. I'll be looking at mosques, at palaces, at architecture. This palace was built in the late 1800s, right? Yes. I'm going to look at just about everything that might show up in my book. You actually are into your homework here. I mean, yes, it's... I am. I'm, I'm very much into it. I don't have it all mapped out yet, but it's definitely going to be an action book. My heroine is going to be a Berber chieftain's daughter, 
and she's going to be captured by the Arabs, but she'll be rescued by the prince, but he's going to also make her his slave. Well. <laughs> it's the stuff dreams and romance novels are made of.